Good day to you. It's Monday, April 27th, and we watched Sense and Sensibility with our daughters, our second pass with our girls, mm -hmm. maybe our fourth pass overall. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I have to say, this is 1995, I think. I think it really holds up. Of course, it helps that it's a classic English costume drama, so it would hold up. But, you know, even a lot of costume dramas have uh, their decades kind of woven into them. So this was the you know, mid-90s. It could have a kind of tinge of that. But I think um, Ang Lee's uh, direction is um, quiet and, and um, very uh, gentle and soft, softly played. It doesn't draw attention to itself at all. Um, it, incidentally, Ang Lee, the movie right before this one that he directed, he's uh, Taiwanese, was uh, probably one of, in the top five food movies of all time for me, Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. So I would hardly, if you, there's a few of you who are big into food movies, I heartily recommend that. Then he leaps into the American uh, cinematic scene with this movie, which is Jane Austen, early 19th century, mm -hmm. and to me has a very sure, understated hand at it. He, he could have gone for it and tried to say, wow, you know, fireworks or whatever, but there's very little. Or make it like modern and fresh or something, and he, doesn't he do wasn't it. interested in that. More on him in a second. We're going to watch a scene where it's one of the only scenes, maybe one of two, I think April and I discern that um, Eleanor, Eleanor's uh, hand as a like as as the kind of uh, leader maybe yeah and um, the kind of moral Stoic. voice of sense mm. is comes undone and in the quiet um, when she thinks no one's listening we hear her heart mm. speaking in this very difficult scene mm -hmm. where her sister Marianne is dying. So here is one of these rare moments, I might get this up there, where the director has taken a very unusual framing here. This godlike perspective down on her sister and her. And I think this image gives us a sense of that things really are up for grabs. Um, mm -hmm. The fates of these two sisters are up for grabs, I think, in the way that this is somehow framed from above. Mm -hmm. Notice that um, Eleanor is busy, busy, yeah. busy with things. Yeah. And, and then she's about to fall apart. Mm -hmm. Just two shots here, one from above and one from Marianne. the other side. Marianne, please try. So kudos for the, I think, beautiful, strong, but understated choices of Ang Lee here, but the, all the kudos go to Emma Thompson, who, who's given herself maybe three lines, four lines. Mm. And we learn that of all her greatest fears is to be left alone. And mm. look at this look she's managed here, which is like a little girl at night, mm. scared that everyone's going to leave her and she'll be by herself. We get that sense of... Um, mm. Her heart, her sensibility is is really enlivened in, in a terrible way here. 
Um, but in honor of Alan Rickman, who passed away um, two years ago now, maybe a year and a half, let's let's um, look at this wonderful scene where we get a very subtle performance from him. Right. Mama. Mama. Oh, she's out of danger. She's well. She's out of danger. Good. Yeah. Mm. Alan Rickman, um, outside of Emma Thompson, I think, probably puts on the performance of his life here in the subtlety and the, he plays mm. this 19th century tortured, gothic male figure who only wishes well and has been thrown a really bad hand um, so beautifully. What a striking uh, image. And, mm. and, and so many of you got your very happy ending that you've been wanting for for some time, both with Creed and um, mm -hmm. Sense and Sensibility, uh, are comedies in the proper sense, in the old sense, that is, that people get their just desserts. And um, this is this is one of those moments where uh, good things happen to good people. It takes a long time to get there. Mm. What about and our some wine? Pain. Some oh, pain, yeah. too. Oh. Oh, yeah. Pain, pain, pain. <laughs> what did we drink? Mm. Well, um... We drank Petiole Pinot Noir from Willamette Valley. And for those of you who have not, who are wondering why I pronounced it that way instead of Willamette, it actually is Willamette Valley in Oregon. And it did not, um, it did not showcase all the finer points of a, of a Willamette Valley Pinot Noir, but I thought it was very drinkable, mm -hmm. um, very subtle, very, um, it was acidic without being um, too dry. And it was, um, Quiet at first when I when we first opened it up there was some acid and there was some red fruit but the longer it sat in my glass the more it uh, the more interesting it became I had some floral notes I had yeah. some violet um, notes and um, and deeper like vanilla notes to that um, and I thought it just it just grew in um, its um, charm as yeah. it was um, open in the glass I would call it gentle. Yes, it was and, a gentle one. And, mm -hmm. and elegant was another word that mm -hmm. you would use, yeah. the two of them together. Yeah. A nice, not a bad pairing with sense and sensibility. No. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're off to our next movie. We're mm -hmm. off and running. Here is a pivot we're going to make. We're going to keep the director, and we're going to pivot to a very different kind of movie once again. Please awake my computer. Uh, will you awake or are you out? Uh-oh. Oh, no. We're just going to have to say it. I'm going to have to say it. It's out. It's out. Oh, no, there we there go. It is. Oh, there it is. 2004. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Now, some of you have seen this and thought, oh, that movie. And some of you have not seen it. Who here regularly watches kung fu movies? None of you. But this is a movie which... I would say takes that whole genre, raises it to the next level, and turns it into something that's really uh, masterful on a grand scale. Same director, more on him next time. Mm. What are we going to drink? Yeah, uh, I would like to introduce you to a um, Washington winemaker, another Washington winemaker. This is um, someone I think you should really check, consider checking out, Charles Smith, uh, Kung Fu Girl, Riesling. What's up? Um, 2017. I got this from Target at for 11.99. Mm. He makes he makes some really solid um, Washington wines. Great great style. Mm. Showcases the characteristics of the Washington um, family of those grapes really well. Um, he does a beautiful Chardonnay, which I did happen to pick up on sale at Harvest here. Eve, uh, it's a beautiful beautiful on sale Chardonnay right now for three bucks. No, eight ninety nine. Oh, three bucks off. And he does the Velvet Devil, which is a Merlot, and he does uh, the Boom Boom, which is a Syrah, and those are Delicious. all great. Um, so check him out. Good. 
We'll see you, um, hopefully, if you can join us on Saturday, 9 p.m., binge together. Mm -hmm. We'll meet briefly, say hello, and then I'll give you a looky-loo assignment. Uh, oh, yeah. We are going to make a night of it and have Chinese takeout. Oh, that's right. As well, because this wine pairs really nicely with Chinese takeout. So we're going to be having Chinese takeout along with our Kung Fu Girl pre pre-movie. Yeah. And then drink the rest of the bottle. If you guys living in town, uh, that is Greensboro, have any uh, Chinese food suggestions, like your your favorite takeout, let us let us all know. And um, maybe we can compare and contrast our takeouts. Mm -hmm. Blessings to you all. We'll see you uh, next week. <laughs>